serenity now. My shrink said I need to have more patience with you. You're a simple man, he says. Nothing you can do about the things that hinder you. Welcome back to the Maximum Chillage Podcast. My name is Chewy Sanchez, and with me, as always... I'm Tiki Mike. This is episode one of season 2.5. Thank you so much if you're listening to this when it comes out. Uh, I know it's been a long time overdue. April 27th was the last time we did this. Uh, Some changes have happened. We're now on Spotify, so catch us on Spotify if you pay for that premium service. If you don't, we're also on Apple uh, Podcasts, as well as uh, various other ones I've heard that we're on, but I'm not really sure. iHeartMedia, I know we're on. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Maximum Chillage. If you want to know if we're going to record an episode, I usually put it there. And now that we're done with all of that, TT Mike, welcome back. Glad to be here. Hey, I, I just want to point out, we've been gone since April 27th. Correct. Today is September, whatever the fuck day it is, 18th, 19th. Yeah, 19th. Since April 27th, at least. And no, it was actually ongoing. Yeah. This beer has been here. I think about it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty as fuck, this beer bottle. A tropical this, IPA. This tropical IPA. Some guy at work was talking about how he had a uh, pineapple IPA the other day. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. I got a tropical IPA at home. <laughs> <laughs> and he would think that it's in the fridge. Yeah, no. <laughs> no it's just sitting, by, sitting on our desk, uh, it, on our it, workstation. It's probably been here since the January episode. Last year, uh, okay. It was know, a booze well, fest, really, our first uh, season. It wasn't that boozy. It, it was Some episodes. A lot of booze. I don't think that's going to continue into season two. No? Sometimes I've got a lot of good feedback. Sometimes on I, that. I'll let you be all blotto, but I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna do it every time. I'm packing on the LBs, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Packing on. I mean, yeah. in the beginning of in our. If you go back to our January episode, I promised myself that I was gonna start losing weight. I went to the gym for one month and was doing really well, and then I realized I can't wake up at five in in the morning anymore. Mm-hmm. Just too much. You go. You go. You have to pack. You have to put on the clothes that you're gonna wear at the gym. Yeah, yeah. Then you have to pack a towel, some sandals so you don't get fucking gain green on your feet, and Ooh. then your clothes for work. So it's a Ooh. whole fucking thing. Yeah, if yeah, you're not yeah. home in time to pack that shit, I, you know what? If you are fit, I used to make fun of those people, but goddamn, <laughs> you are disciplined <laughs> because it takes discipline to do that. You gotta say no to your friends after work that you're not gonna go drinking. You gotta say no to fucking people going to trash food at lunch. There's a lot of no's. And uh, yeah, I think yeah. a lot of it is they don't have any friends. But that's just a generalization. I'll leave that uh, up for discussion. Um, TT Mike, there's a big revelation in the saga of TT Mike. Not only is he a grown ass man who still lives at home and has an iPhone 5S, 5C. 5C, the JIT version of the 5. Is it though? <laughs> it's the plastic version that's made for poor people. Is it though? <laughs> Just like the new iPhone that came out. There's a new iPhone that came out that's for the poor people who can't afford the very expensive iPhones, which there's nothing wrong with. But Michael is generationally like five behind. And uh, I have actually have a gift for him right now that I wasn't gonna wait, but I I don't want you Oh, I don't man. want this. It says, it says hello. It does. I don't want. I just gave Michael my old six S, which is still old, but because it of this zine chow, <laughs> because of this hindrance that he I, just I don't added, know how to pronounce that one. The hindrance that he just added to himself. I think having the five C only makes him like that much more. I don't know, pathetic. But yeah, he's less now because I just gave him a new phone. Uh. Michael Steinhauer is now a recreational pot smoker. uh, I can't deal with this kind of responsibility, dude. (laughs) Um, It even has an otter box on it. It it does. Is that what this is? Yeah. You can now play Pokemon Go, which we'll get to later. I can't accept this. No, you're accepting it. Like, I mean, look. I I mean, okay, I do have a charging port for that, I guess. Um, It even still has the headphone port for you because you're old. Because I would not have Bluetooth headphones. Hey, Bluetooth headphones, what what kind of battery does that run off of? Or do they just charge? They charge. You charge them USB. How annoying, though. Everything's charged these days. Much like your phone that you have to plug into your car every time you get in I don't plug it into my car every time. Look, man, it's on 83% right there. 
Bam, 83%. Either way, I've been using my, it TT this Mike just got a new phone um, because of this thing that we're going to talk about right now. TT Mike is now a recreational pot smoker. And do you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure, man. You know, do you um, have your pen on you right now? I do not. Oh, wow. I, I only had, I don't know why I had the pen on me yesterday. Yeah. Um, uh, TT Mike and I had a, a, uh, the, meeting. We'll call it a business meeting. A business meeting. Business that you can't meeting. write off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could try. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So yeah, you know. I mean, uh, we do make money off uh, this podcast. Uh, We're I'm up a, to a whopping two dollars in profit. Ooh, that could pay for these donuts <laughs> that we got. Um, okay. Yeah. So you know. Um, I've never been a big pot smoker. A lot of people always thought I was, you know, smoking Michael, weed you, all the way back to eighth grade. If you meet this guy in person, he's not as lively as he is on this podcast. He's actually a very quiet man. Unless he knows you, he's not going to talk to you that oh, much. Oh, yeah, I will not talk to you. <laughs> he's... I will make a lot of awkward eye contact. Well, not awkward eye contact directly into your eyes. It's just very apparent that I'm staring off <laughs> trying to avoid your eyes because I, I, I don't want you looking into my soul, man. He's a good guy once he doesn't know him. Don't want you seeing how jaded I really am. But he am. seems like a fucking <laughs> pothead when you meet this guy. So much so that his his nickname in middle school throughout high school uh, was Stoner. Stoner. Stonehauser. Uh, Stonehauser, Stonehauer, Steinstoner, all of those. Um, a lot of good plays on the Steinhauer name there. Um, you know, Stein is actually stone. So, oh. you know. Um, yeah, anyways... Uh, yeah, you know, so eighth grade, I think I had smoked weed once with like a cousin, um, high school, I think like freshman year, sophomore year, I think uh, a couple times we went to, you remember Vixta? Yeah. Went to Vixta's house with Poncho. Remember Poncho? No. Poor guy. I think he, he last I heard he, he. Kicked the bucket? Well, basically. I mean, <laughs> I, I think he was. Locked up for a manslaughter DUI charge. I will get it. So, I'll get uh, yeah. Pancho, I hope they have weed wherever you are. Hope you can listen to this podcast wherever you are. You know, I you know from the videos I see online, those fools have phones in prison all the oh, time. Oh, yeah. So, like, you I, know. I watched Orange is the New Black, and there's a, some people who do a podcast for the prisoners there. Oh, okay. That's, that was, right. like, that yeah. was an episode. That was, that's a, an, ongoing an ongoing thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, you know, a couple times there with weed, and then senior year for about, like, three months after winter break, um, yeah. I was smoking weed a lot. Uh, the thing was always going to these orange orchards. I forgot what the name of the orchard was that or the name that they had for the orchard, but cars would just drive up, and you'd have, like, two beers because that's all you I'm could gonna afford. Stop. I'm going to stop you right there. Let's get to the now. To let's, the now? Let's get out of the then. The now what made you start? What made you want? What made you make that decision that you know what? I'm just gonna start doing this. I don't care about the stigma that's attached to it. Well, I, you know, throughout the years, I've always done it at parties and stuff. Whenever somebody had some, yeah, but, I'm not you know, saying you were straight edge, um, but, but you just, uh, yeah, the, just make it. You to, were never make, very make, open about it either. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Basically, uh, I mean, weed's legal now, yes. and uh, I was visiting a friend for for uh, a little while, and. Uh, uh, there's Decided a lot of recreational shops over shop. there. Um, you know, one day I, I knew that I was going to be alone, that um, uh, he he was going to be at work the whole day, and I was going to, you know, have this uh, grand adventure planned in my head. I was going to be Anthony Bourdain in, in the Bay Area. Oh, man, I've tried and, to do that. And then uh, I decided to take hits, mm -hmm. and I decided to stay on the couch mm -hmm. taking more hits. Mm -hmm. And then I just had a nice, real good nap. And I think it was the first good nap I've had in a real <laughs> long time. I don't know what chronic diseases I must have that keeps me from rest. But uh, this nap was fucking great. And it, it changed my mind on everything. You and, know, sometimes uh, I'm really, yeah. really like restless and I want to go to sleep. And yeah. I remember the times where I would have a little bit of weed in my room and I would go outside and smoke it just to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. And I wish that I could. I just I, I can't do it personally. Uh -huh. I feel in a in the position I'm at in life where I have an OK job, but I'm still not. I still don't have a house or anything of monetary value that can say, you know what? This guy's good to go. He can do whatever he wants. So it's just a hindrance to me. But. I'm, uh, Michael's taking it, opened up his arms with open, with arms wide open, and uh, That's he's a, good a song. <laughs> he's just a, he's just a pot smoking man now. No, yeah, you know a little bit. So you a know, little bit. Uh, 
So the next week, I had gone to L.A. with a couple friends, and I burned through everything that I had. Uh-huh. And, you know, because I was just sharing, and I was just this spending summer, you another were a five days. Journeyman. Well, yeah, no, I, I, no, I just spent a good two weeks off of work. I had too much time built up, and I was going to, like, like they were telling me, like, hey, you got to take some time off. And so I took Must two weeks nice. straight off. And, yeah, so, you know, that, that, that was the thing, though. I came back to this area, which is a prohibition area, basically, and I had no, you know, legal um, oil pen or oil cartridges to get. And uh, the closest place is Woodward um, out in Visalia area. And so I had to make the journey all the way to Woodward to um, to go to Valley Pure to uh, get get weed. And I'm going to say the experience in that shop was much better for some reason. It was just like they're for super friendly. What kind of people super- hang out in those shops? Now okay, that it's legal. so they only allow like three people at a time in the store. Like you have to go to the front, and then they say, "Oh, have you been here before?" And then they scan your ID real quick, and then they say, "Okay, well," and then they unlock the door and they let you go in. And it's like a little, you know, jewelry case set up, and and uh, there's like four people there to help you. And yeah, they just ask you a bunch of questions. They said they have their suggestions, and uh, yeah, man. So lately, I've been on a kick of. Uh, Blue dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um yeah, it was just a cool experience. Now then here's the thing. Wood 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 lake or what did I say? Did I say Woodward earlier? I think wood you lake. Did. <laughs> wood lake. It's about an hour away, isn't it? It's at least an hour so away. So how is that journey that you know that you're just gonna go get in a car for an hour, get there, spend about maybe three minutes in there, maybe. Yeah, I don't like, spend that long in there. So, what? I mean, what do you do after that? You just drive home? You just, you just hang out in Visalia on the <laughs> way back, man. I mean, go 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 to uh, Brew Bakers or, uh, you know, uh, Paisanos. Uh, so, yeah. have you learned a lot about marijuana now? You're a not little just, bit, a little bit. You're just not that person who just... No, I mean, I'm not going to be a connoisseur, you know, but... Uh, You're not going to take it yeah, to that level. I, I, I've, I've gotten to know a little bit of what I like. You buy any edibles? I, um, I have. Now, here's the thing, because I, I made my second trip there yeah. recently, and, you know, I bought a couple of uh, single-serving um, chocolate edibles, mm-hmm. and, you know, I left it in my trunk just for, like, an hour, Ooh. and it was at night, too, but I came home, and night. it was melted, oh, yeah. and now I have to go freeze that shit, and then... You know, so um, I just haven't done it. But here's the thing: because it's so far away, and because there's not a lot of availability here, um, I, I I was without it for a little while, and I was like, "Fuck, this sucks." And then a friend came in clutch, told me about a, a cigarette shop here in Sanger. Maybe maybe next, you know, to Mountain Mike's and this, you know, you know, it's under Where the table. Mind, you yeah. just go in there. This old Indian man is there and at first you're like a little hesitant to ask <laughs> and then you say hey uh so my friend says uh, <laughs> that you guys serve uh flavor rx and he just has a slight pause looks at the door <laughs> goes under the table pulls out a box of flavor rx <laughs> and there's just 20 different kinds to choose from and i'm like is this a gram and he says well yes it's a gram <laughs> and i'm like it's not a gram. Anyways, it's cheaper, but I don't like the experience. Also, I'm pretty sure it's not a gram. I like if you look at the tubes, the little glass tubes. There's yeah. like a section that's sectioned off that the oil doesn't like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's a good third that's not actually uh, available for for oil to be sitting in. So. You know, you know how I said that uh, I have trouble sleeping sometimes, and I wish yeah. I could smoke some marijuana. The answer to that, to my prayers, was I thought CBD. Oh, yeah. So on Groupon. Well, you, you could get that at the fucking yes. weightlifting su- supplement place. So they had CBD gummy bears on a Groupon. You get that at the cigarette shop, too. Picked yeah. them up. Well, one night I was really excited to get a good, restful night's sleep. Yeah. I take two gummy bears. Yeah. Go to sleep. I wake up the next morning like I have the flu. Just real groggy. Oh, really? Gave me a groggy feeling. So I said, you know what? Maybe I'll just like, maybe I'm getting sick. Maybe you should have just taken one. Maybe. So I tried it again later on, another day. And I did only take one. Uh huh. Went to sleep, woke up less groggy, but still groggy. So I'm off the CBD. It's not the answer for me. 
I don't really like them. I also had nightmares. A lot nightmares. of nightmares. Yeah, a lot of nightmares. Like not bad ones, just like uncomfortable dreams where you'd wake up. I didn't like it. It wasn't the experience I was looking for. Oh man. This these these were not that was not the experience I was just looking for. Take it at six PM <laughs> instead of at eleven. And, and uh, you know, yeah, you'll, you'll just feel the calming effects. So when you're getting high, yeah, what level of high do you like being at? Okay, so depends on the day. Some days if I feel like, well, you know, because I mostly just do these on my days off. Yeah. You know? and You uh, never have you done it going to work yet? No, no, no. And also you don't want to. I have a job where I sit in a car for two and a half hours, <laughs> three days of the week. Three days of the week, I know guaranteed I'm going to be sitting in my car for two and a half hours and staring at a door. I mean, it seems like the perfect opportunity to use this vape pen, but I don't want to get caught up at work. I'm not going to be dealing with that kind of shit. Right. Uh, and also, they drug test you at work? They do drug test, mostly for accidents. We did have a guy, he <laughs> knocked over, you know, he was on the forklift and he knocked over a pallet of waters or some shit. That shit kind of happens all the time. But this guy. Also just came off of like a shoulder injury, uh, so I think he might have also been on pain meds, uh, and also he was smoking weed too. And so yeah, he he uh, he got drug tested and got let go after being there for like twelve years. Or my something job like that drug tests you when you go in to yeah. work. So um, that new guy started, yeah, and he got the job, and he already been there for a couple of days doing paperwork and stuff. Then and my they, boss they goes up to him. him. And it's like, hey, just uh, take this over to wherever, whatever the place is. And uh, you have like 24 hours. You have 30, 36 hours to do this. So just go right now if you want or whatever. And I think English is like his second language. Yeah. So he's like, what? <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a drug test. You start to do a drug test. And then you see him look off into the distance. And in my head, I just hear, hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I know he left that place and started te- or fucking texting people for clean piss. Oh yeah, or um, they got it. Or, or the was synthetic ones you to buy wherever the hell you buy at those drug shops. I, I would assume Do these have synthetic urine. Uh, apparently, oh, wow. apparently, I've heard a lot of people uh, passing tests do you remember, with fake do you remember, pee. Do you remember our friend? I saw it on Facebook. It was a Facebook group. Somebody posted in. the uh, a Facebook group that I follow. Does anybody have some clean pee <laughs> by 3 p.m. today? I need to pass a drug test. <laughs> uh, way back at, like, our first year of college, we had a friend that was just talking about this badass, fa- um, badass fucking, <laughs> fucking cold storage job that he yeah. was going to get. And that he was so psyched about it. Is and he then, he, then he said, oh, they're going to drug test. Yeah. But I got this fake penis thing <laughs> that holds... You're in it. It's the same guy with the ice pick that he, he needed legal guy that advice. Got that, that, well, because he had priors, and then he got <laughs> pulled over, and they had him with an ice pick yeah. in the back seat, and they said that it was a weapon, and he said, "No, I use that for work." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know whatever happened to that guy. I don't know, but uh, yeah, God bless him. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I like to get I get mildly high on days where I know that I'm going to do stuff later, um, or like it's just the end of the day, and it's just like. Well, I got nothing to do now. Um, but sometimes when I know I've got nothing to do, I'm not leaving Have you ever been house. caught up where right. you think you have nothing to do and all of a sudden somebody calls you and oh, you're like, I got to do it. I no longer answer the phone <laughs> <laughs> when I'm super high. <laughs> like when I'm super high and I see a phone call, I just... I it's so weird. It's like something out of an Alfred Hitchcock movie. I see it on the table. I see the screen light up. I'm like, oh shit, no! I look away. I look back at it. It's still ringing. I'm like grabbing to the phone, make sure I don't touch the screen and accidentally answer it. And then I just like think about answering it, and I think, no, I'm gonna sound really stupid right now. And I just let that call go. <laughs> and when, and I don't have an answering, I don't have don't. a voicemail box. Never and been so, set up, and so uh, you know that's a comfort to me knowing that I can't hear the message. And once it's gone, I'm just like, oh yes, okay, good, good, that has passed. All right, I can I can go take a little napsy now. That took a lot out of me, and so you know I get to this paranoid paranoid state, and I I, I actually enjoy the paranoid state. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's why I'm actually smoking uh, enough to get to that level sometimes, you know. 
And, you know, so I was telling Chewie yesterday, you know, um, so, you know, I, I, uh, I was getting off of work, you know, it, it was early. It was like seven, seven thirty. Um, you know, I came home and, you know, the dogs were there and, you know, I, 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 I knew family was going to be there around, uh, midnight or so they, 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 they went out and stuff. And so, you know, I'm just there and I'm just getting at a weird level. I'm just like taking hit after hit and I'm just like watching that 70s show and and you know i it, it, it's it's feeling pretty good this is a good day it's you know um fucking i'm just sitting on the couch and then all of a sudden my door does this thing where it sounds like a knock and sometimes it's usually during the day where the sun is hitting it and it just the the metal readjusts or something and it just snaps and it sounds like a knock and so i'm like oh shit someone's at the door and but the thing is is that it's already nighttime and so it didn't make sense that that's why that's what would have caused it so you know i'm walking up to the door and i'm like oh shit oh shit who's here so uh, it can't be my family oh wait but you know what if they just came home early and then i'm like well who the fuck's at the door i'm gonna have to deal with this person with a straight face and so you know i'm walking up there and my dog starts sniffing at the door and i'm like oh shit someone definitely is there because they don't do that unless someone's on the other side of the door and so I'm I'm walking up and I'm just like casually going up trying to play it off. And so uh, I got my hand on the deadbolt. I'm unlocking and I go, "Who is it?" <laughs> because that is the most natural thing I think I can do at the moment. Because if I were to try to play it off like I'm just sober and 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 not high, then I would definitely be found out. But if I'm just <laughs> acting goofy as fuck, they're just gonna think it's goofy old Michael <laughs> up to his old shit again. And so you know, I I unlock the deadbolt and I start looking through the key, the little eye hole to see who it is on the other side, and I'm fucking freaked out. <laughs> Cause I don't see their face. I just see the top of their head. I just see the the, the just the the top scalp of their head, and I'm just like, oh shit, who the fuck is that? And I didn't say any of that because I'm just like dying inside of fear, and and I'm like, oh fuck, 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 fuck. They just heard me <laughs> unlock the deadbolt, and then and then I, I I froze, and then I'm like, who the fuck is there? And so then I peek over the top. There's this little window area, and. I still can't see the person, but the gate thing is open to the door. And I'm like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. And I, I thought, I, I'm fucking found out. I don't know who the fuck this is. The fucking ring is outside of my door. I could just see the top of the ring's head, the girl from the ring. Yeah. And uh, then I realized, no, no, I think there's like a wreath on the other side. I think I, think I just saw the top of the wreath. <laughs> and but I still was not sure. And my dogs were sniffing. And, you know. So I'm like, oh, just, just, you're really high. Don't be one of those people on those, those fucking YouTube videos that call in thinking they're dying. Just, just, just calm yourself down. You can hear your heartbeat. Just calm down. <laughs> just fucking lock the deadbolt <laughs> slowly, just in case they still are there. It took about two minutes for me to finally lock the deadbolt and then fucking creep back away and then just go back to the couch and then fall asleep. And it was pretty dope. It was, it was a good experience, you know. So saying that, so since you get high, since uh, not get high, get paranoid when you get high. Oh yeah. I think I just thought of a great segment coming up because it is September, going into October. Yeah. Uh, we do love Halloween. Oh yeah. What about TT Mike? Super fucking baked out of his mind, like the paranoid level. And we sit here and I read you ghost stories. I read, uh, I read them ghost stories I, I, too. Look, man, I'm not a fan of ghost stories. Like I am for scary a minute. stories. No, I know what you mean. I I, I don't think that I'll uh, have any reaction to it. I, right. I, well, let's try it out then. Tough okay, guy. maybe we'll do a dry run, and if it's not good, we won't record it, or we will record it, but not release it. But yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I think I like the idea, um, but I do really want Titi Titi High. <laughs> Titi man, <laughs> Titi hi Mike, uh, to be on this podcast, and I think the lo- listeners want it too. If you want Titi Mike to be high on the podcast, at mention us with Titi hi, and uh, we'll, we'll make that happen. So Michael, you knew how you now have a new phone. Yeah, I don't know how to set this up. I was thinking you wouldn't. 
Um, uh, I mean, you gotta transfer all these contacts. Uh, it does it. It does it by itself because right. you have like the ad cloud. Uh, I, you know, I, I would it. say take it to your carrier. Oh no, just take it to your your uh, friend that's not me who has time for you, because <laughs> he'll know how to do it. Anybody, anybody will know how to do it. I, take t- I can use Google Chewy. All right. Well, TT might actually used to be a big Pokemon Go guy. Not you were a much. big Pokemon Go guy. Uh, not as big as you were. That's, I'm not going to say I wasn't. I was into that game. I, I mean, now I no longer play it. For, it. for a minute, it caused me to almost get into a couple accidents, you know? He couldn't play it anymore because five Cs didn't support it anymore. Well, supposedly it did. It just wouldn't work on mine. I got kicked out of my Google account. All right. Well, that's a, that's another. That's something else. No, no, it, it wouldn't update. Okay. So you, now you have a new phone. You play Pokemon Go, but Pentagon employees cannot play Pokemon Go. No, they shouldn't. From tra- the this it, is an uh, it tracks all of their an article their from the Guardian movement. says the Pentagon has uh met sent a message to staff to let them know to not play Pokemon Go while at work. Anyone well, working in Arlington, Virginia, or U.S. Department of Defense searching for Squirtles or Snorlaxes on the Pokemon Go app have been told to do it outside of the buildings, according to a memo obtained by the Washington Times. Um. As of a few weeks ago, there hasn't even been a gym near those locations where because there actually was for a second, and uh, they got rid of those. So, uh, and on Pentagon tours, if you go on a Pentagon tour, it's uh, no cell phones, no Pokemon Go. I thought that was interesting. It was on Reddit interesting because mm-hmm. I, I didn't really think about that. But yeah, it uh, tracks your whole house. And TT Mike, t- hi TT Mike, has had this theory before that they only made this game to tra- so. They can see the inside layouts of your homes. Wait, I said that? you did. I, I don't remember that. You did say that. That was in my. You also told me. You also told me to turn off the Bluetooth of my phone because you don't want people listening to you. Oh, you know. Well, that that was a valid, <laughs> <laughs> a valid thing to talk about. Um, no, no, man. You know the, the Bluetooth. And, well, no. Here's the thing. It's not just Pokemon Go. I mean, so many apps you have track your location and use that data to I mean, sell this, to this, companies. This and thing advertise. has been beat to hell. This topic's um, been beat to hell. Yeah, but it's still not this, but um, the fact that when you say something out loud, then it shows up on oh, your. Oh, shows up on your Google suggestions or or fucking uh, even like Instagram ads and even though I know that like, still. There should be no way that it's still, but it still bugs me every time I see it. Oh yeah, I was asking somebody the other day for a shelf specifically to hold these records right here. Uh-huh. I want a shelf to hold the records. And you hadn't Google searched that. I had not Google searched a shelf to hold the records because I just asked somebody off. Like I know that they thrift a lot. I was like, hey, if you ever see like a, a cubed shelf that can hold records, let me know. And they're like, oh yeah, you know what? I think I saw one the other day at a at a, a certain thrift store. I'll let you know. And I'm scrolling through Instagram. And it was called a media cart. And mm-hmm. it was specifically for vinyl records. Yeah. And it was uh, pretty weird. I don't appreciate it. Well, I don't appreciate it. But, you and know. I say a lot of weird. Th- 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 my thing is I say a lot of weird things when I'm by myself. He, he, is it yeah. also listening to those weird things? Oh, you know, I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. There, there, there's, a, there's a wealth of things that I say <laughs> in the middle of the night <laughs> that I, I don't want other people to see. Nor know that I'm the source of that. I mean, I mean, just just yesterday, you and I were just having a big old discussion in the car that I think if regular people were listening to, they wouldn't approve. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Just I just hope that nobody's listening to those conversations. They're just not. Hey, here's the thing, though. I mean, is is the government? Uh, into selling us items because these are all for sale. No, not, I'm not saying that. I mean, the, these are is, these are not necessarily that's all private. Government. So this I'm wondering what I'm wondering what the government the, hears though, the or what they're listening the to. Are they listening to this podcast? Are oh, we on definitely. a list? We're on Spotify, bro. Oh, yeah. We're on fucking fucking iTunes. You don't think there's some computer algorithm that's picking up certain words? Like if I say bomb, and then they're like yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, what? Let's actually, listen no, to this for five minutes. A guy that I worked with, his friend actually worked uh, for whatever department, NSA. Uh, NSA uh-huh. And he said that it only starts recording after you say that word. Uh huh. So, yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. And it only records mm-hmm. for a certain amount of time. Um, on my on or off time, our little summer vacation, um, also – a big reason why we don't do this podcast during the summer and you'll never expect us to maybe we'll do like little specials here and there i think it's balls hot in our uh location where we 
do the podcast. So until that location gets air conditioning or Michael uh, finally moves into his house that's been being worked on for 10 years. Uh, it was just sitting there <laughs> not being worked on. It is now being worked on. Michael and I are going to actually move this studio into his uh, new house that he's going to get when it finally gets worked on. Um, we're going to try to do it like a diner it's style. A new house. Well, it's your house. <laughs> it's yeah. your house that you're going to own and live there by yourself. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have like a diner style setup where I hope we can do some videos there too where it's a, a booth like you would see at a restaurant. And we'll sit across from each other. Hey, so, so, yeah, I didn't talk to you about that. Is that going to be like a YouTube-style type yeah, thing? Yeah, also, oh, okay. as well as this. For sure. Well, we, sure. we dream, babe. When we were thinking about coming back, we, Mike and I were having these, like, really fucking out-there ideas of how we were going to film... Uh, uh, promo spots. Promo spots to... Uh, hype up the crowd. Hype you all up. Hype up the 20 people who listen to this. Actually, about 150 people listen to it. So, hype up the 150 people who listen to it. Um... One of them was, if you watch Boogie Nights, great movie. If you never watched it, <laughs> Burt Reynolds just died. Um, it's a great movie. And in the in Boogie Nights, they go to this guy's house. Do they go specifically to steal his money, or do they go to no, buy coke? I think they went there specific. I think under the guise to buy coke, uh, but specifically to steal money. So they go to this guy's house. He's all fucking coked out of his mind. There's a Asian teenager lighting fireworks off of a candle and throwing them on the floor to the song Jesse's girl. And the guy's dancing around in a dancing silk robe, around, silk robe, open shirt or no, no shirt, open robe. And the, the guys are just sitting there just not knowing what to do. And it was going to be Tiki Mike and I sitting on a couch, just scared the fuck out of our minds and just, on, on, on a fucking sketchy ass situation. And we just stare at each other and we say, you want to start the party house back up? <laughs> <laughs> and then, boom, September 21st. We had all these great ideas. They were all going to happen, but they didn't. Um, well, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that they didn't, though, because it would have taken a lot of my time that I don't have time for you to be Whoa, doing that. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> um, in that time that I was off, though, I took up a hobby myself that I'm not proud of. Yeah, I see that, dude. I saw that when I walked in. I actually... Uh, I'm a avid, a casual, I'm a casual, casual video game player now of uh, old PS3 console. Uh, I play a lot of Call of Duty, and it's just something I did out of pure boredom. I was just really bored one morning. Katie really, you really likes... it was a product of boredom. <laughs> Katie really, really likes PlayStation, and she really, really likes Call of Duty. And for about a month, I was sitting there like, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to play this game where you just die all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the point of the game is to kill more people than you die, and sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, I was one time I sat there while she was playing, and she would die every forty-five seconds, and I was like, "This is just not fun. This is kind of boring." Started playing it one morning because I was bored. It ended up that I have a console here at my house. She has one at her house, and we play online at most you, nights. You, you bought a subscription to. Uh... To play? You don't have to have online? a subscription. Hey, what, what is this? PlayStation? Three. Yeah, PS3. PS3? Yeah. Still goes online? Yeah. And wow. there's still a lot of people who play it. Cool. You can still buy some of the new games on the PS3. Uh-huh. Um, but speaking of the PlayStation, it just was announced that PlayStation is releasing the PlayStation Classic, which is kind of like that Super Nintendo that they came out with. Yeah. Super small. Loaded with games with yeah. updated graphics. Were you much of a PlayStation guy growing up? Nah, man. I only got to play it after soccer practice. Um, our our coach's son lived across the street from where we practiced, and so when our parents didn't pick us up, we you know on time, a lot of us would just hang out at his house and you know play fucking Tony Hawk or something. And uh, yeah, that that's really the only um, experience I had with PlayStation growing up. Uh, I had a Nintendo 64 as they were phasing out. Um, that's the, yeah, that, that was my gaming experience. So I also had a Virtual Boy. I don't. Do you I, remember Virtual Boys? I've seen it. They were terrible for your neck um, <laughs> because you'd lie flat on the floor, but your head hyperextended up, and your eyes, you know, 
uh, around a, 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 a fucking binocular type thing, and it was just it was like red. VR. It was like kind of. It was like VR the predecessor to time. VR. Yeah, and I would play Mario Tennis all the time. There's another game that I'd play, but it, it, it was the it was, Mario Sports franchise is one of the oh, yeah. most underrated, definitely uh, fucking sports games ever. So it was just all black, and the characters were outlined red, and and all the everything else was outlined red. There were no colors; it was just black and red. And uh, I'd play that shit for hours, but uh, yeah, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> I love that term. I love it so. So, um, you know, I'll digress as well. I want to start doing a thing where we start talking about tweets of the week and memes of the week. And uh, we'll discuss them Man, and we'll post are, them online. Are memes, are we also considering uh, video form memes? I don't know if those are memes if as much as they're just... Johnny. Yes, Papa. <laughs> I love that song. Eating sugar. No, Papa. <laughs> Telling lies. <laughs> This is going to piss Katie off so much that she hates that thing. I fucking love every version of them. <laughs> and even the deep, dark, scary versions where it pauses and it's just like, Johnny, Johnny, <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> you know, telling lies. And then it shows the baby and it pauses and says, please don't do this. <laughs> please don't do this again. I lie awake every night hoping that you do not come into my room. <laughs> and it goes on and on for like a minute. There's a I really, really good love one. them all. There's yeah. a really, really good one. <laughs> I'm not going to do it justice. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy says, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> yes, Papa. And then the dad freaks the fuck out and says, you know my fucking beans? <laughs> and then he chases it. <laughs> oh, dude, I love all the editings with the chases. So good. So good. So we will do some memes of the week. Maybe we'll post these online on our maybe on our story. Hey, speaking of beams, beans <laughs> and video ones, I just saw the best one. Somebody spent a lot of time <laughs> creating these cartoon beans that have clothes <laughs> that are in like a warehouse. It basically look like the scene from Pineapple yeah. Express with the weed warehouse. Oh, yeah. Where basically this guy does backflips and pulls out two guns and he's in a firefight <laughs> shooting at the other beans and killing them and fucking like why? Why would this person devote that much time to create a cartoon of beans clothed shooting each other? I don't know, man. I, I, but I, I would vote for that as meme of the week. So this meme of the week, actually, I'm going to show it to you right now. It says, I complain about the economy online, but really, I'm just bad with my money starter pack. And I'm going to show it to Michael. It's a kid in front of a wall of pops. Oh, yeah, I know someone like that. They went to Comic-Con. Oh, I know someone like that. <laughs> they did all their food from Grubhub and oh, Uber they Eats. they don't do that. And uh, they're spending money on weed. But that's, they don't do that. They might start. I'm not, saying, I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm just, when I saw this, it was just spot on. We will post this online for you all. Meme of the Week will go on to our Twitter and our Instagram for you all to see. Um, right. But um, we also going to have Tweets of the Week that I'll... I didn't get one this week. I literally wrote this episode this morning when I woke up. I said, this motherfucker's sure. going to come here. He's going to be all late. He's going to make me late for work because I'm only, already going to be late for I work. I was only late like 25 minutes, but, you know, how long did it take to set this podcast up? 25 minutes. That when I have all work, been done last night. Work at noon. I don't have time for that shit, Michael. I don't have time. Also, time is a big thing. So Michael's not going to be working jit hours anymore. So hopefully I mean, we'll be able to get this shit done better. Look, I have Mondays and Tuesdays off. If you it's want Michael to start day. doing writing uh. for this podcast, fucking tweet, fuck you, Michael, because that would be nice too. Oh, man. What do you have to add to this? I'm going to let you go now. I know you have something. Do if I it's, have something? If, honestly, if it's been since April and you don't have anything, well, I you know, you but the, it's more of just like segues, man. I don't know if I have segues to anything. I mean, like... Uh, you know, I know we were talking about uh, talking about the Emmys and award shows in general. Yeah. Uh, you know, Henry Winkler. No. Uh, that was gonna lead into my Barry mm. uh fucking review. I don't know if I even have a Barry review. You know what I I am watching right now that I think is a great show. What underrated? I talk about it every year that it, it comes out with the new season, and I know some people are super into it, but other I feel like it, it hasn't caught on enough. Um. Will Arnett and fucking BoJack Horseman. Oh, I've tried it. Underrated show. Fucking great. It, it's, it's very, very out there. Uh, how far Vulgar. did you get in? The first season. I'm Just trying to... 
I'm trying to sit there and watch it with like Katie's just not even watching, uh-huh. but I just feel so dumb watching it when somebody else is listening because it's just really ridiculous. It isn't that. I mean, it is. I mean, there there's half of the population are anamorphic talking animals, and um, I mean, people, animal people, whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, the show the show is super fucking good. It's super. Uh, I mean, it hits all the notes of high comedy low brow comedy fucking dark comedy uh goes into very depressing topics and each season gets er a little bit better should we have like netflix suggestions on this podcast i feel like i think so i I feel like i never know what to watch on netflix i always wish somebody would tell me and i end up googling best of netflix july 2018 (laughs) and it's always the godfather (laughs) or stupid shit that i don't care to watch again well, okay, so um, I will say the first three episodes is of BoJack I was still on the fence of, but after those first three episodes, I started really liking the series, and um, yeah, uh, I'll definitely put that as a suggestion. For I, me, I if you guys want to watch something this week, if you're bored as shit, Dark Tourist on Netflix is a guy who is a kind of squirrely looking guy who goes around to uh, tourist destinations that are not necessarily like Disneyland. But maybe like the Museum of Death or he goes and visits like uh, Pablo Escobar drug tour that they do. Yeah. People are very interested in not only fun stuff. People are interested in the weird the CD stuff. Yeah. yeah. And that's a he, he goes and explores all over the world of the alternate side of tourism, dark tourism. I think it's a really good podcast. Give it a listen or not give it a listen or give it a watch and give us a listen every week on Fridays. We gotta go. Until next time, goodbye.